You've heard about toxic food and toxic toys, but what about toxic clothing? Have you ever wondered what makes some of those clothes stain and wrinkle free? Well, it's a 16 by nine investigation. Our Allison Bushnick with the exclusive details. Hot and seductive lingerie. Women buy it to feel attractive and sexy, but some women say after wearing it, they feel anything but. Rashes, scarring, just go online and read for yourself. Complaints and complaints from women who believe their Victoria's Secret bras are making them sick. One woman writes, I have an itchy red bumpy rash all over my breasts. Another, it was so bad the rash covered both my breasts with hive-like welts and began to scab due to itching. Yeah, this is the dress that I wore in that Christmas party. And it's not just Victoria's Secret. Mari Carr bought a new dress to wear to her husband's Christmas party. She needed to buy a strapless bra, so she went where she always shops, to La Senza. It was a fun night though, but you know, the next morning wasn't a very fun. <laughs> the next day after the party, she says she noticed a problem, a rash, in the exact spot where the bra was. It was really thick and, and uh, very red. And I, in fact, I kept feeling it because it was really itchy. You can't help but, you know, touch it because it's so itchy. And it didn't go away. Now she says she has permanent scarring. I think it's a chemical because I, I had that reaction from just wearing it for one time. So what could possibly be in the bras and could it have caused the women's reactions? Victoria's Secret and La Senza are both owned by the same parent company, Limited Brands. Some of their bras are manufactured in China. Now consumers are taking their concerns to court. Class action lawsuits have been filed in the United States against Victoria's Secret and here in Canada against La Senza. Clint Dawkin launched the lawsuit here. Mari Carr is his client. They're not sure what caused her reaction. We're assuming that it's some sort of a, a, an irritant to have caused the problem. Certainly after hearing her story and hearing from others, it's, uh, it's our feeling that this is a, a, a bigger problem than originally thought. On this website of a U.S. law firm that is representing some of the women suing Victoria's Secret over two different types of bras, they say the problem could be formaldehyde that a lab test of Victoria's Secret bras, like the ones worn by the plaintiff, showed the presence of formaldehyde in the fabric. You may remember formaldehyde, as in the fluid frogs were in in your high school science class. The World Health Organization says it's a potential carcinogen. In textiles, it's used to keep clothing wrinkle-free and stain-resistant. Victoria's Secret says there is no secret. They don't use formaldehyde in their bras. They issued this statement to 16 by 9. We have strict quality controls around our products and we do not use formaldehyde in our bras. Customer safety and satisfaction are always our primary concerns. Victoria's Secret says its own lab testing showed the bras are formaldehyde free. They also say a garment can absorb formaldehyde from other sources like cigarette smoke and cosmetics. The case has not gone to court yet. And Lacenza told 16x9, we take very seriously any issues our customers may have with our products. Our bras are made under the highest quality control standards and we are confident that they are safe. La Senza has not been served with the lawsuit yet. But what about formaldehyde in clothing in general? The vast majority of clothing is imported. When you shop now, how do you know what it's in or not in? What are the rules in Canada? Well, what 16 by 9 uncovered may surprise you. Yeah, I've seen a number of people who have come in. We do a lot of testing. As a specialist, dermatologist Dr. Joel DeCoven says he has seen his share of reactions from formaldehyde. Most of the patients uh, will not have any idea that it could be their clothing. In fact, most physicians don't know that formaldehyde can cause allergic reactions in clothing. Manufacturers use formaldehyde to keep clothing wrinkle-free and stain-resistant. In Canada, there are no specific rules or levels of acceptable formaldehyde. A number of different clothing items which would have wrinkle-free properties would have uh, formaldehyde textile resins because there's no regulation, so why not put it in? Some manufacturers put it in and some don't. And experts say not everyone will react to formaldehyde in clothing, but for those who do... Usually they're going to need treatment because the patient's going to be quite uncomfortable with itch. We wanted to see for ourselves if Canadian clothing had formaldehyde in it. We purchased clothing from Canadian retailers and brought them to Philadelphia University's Institute for Textile and Apparel Product Safety, 
Here, they test for formaldehyde. It has now been recognized as a carcinogen. David Brookstein runs the center. After the toxic toy scare, he decided it was time to see what's in our clothing. No one was significantly looking at formaldehyde in fabric. Scientist Herb Bart examined our samples, seven garments in all. Let's see what we have. The most likely suspects are those that have some kind of a wrinkle-free finish. Our samples were numbered one to seven, then weighed. Number six is a likely candidate. Number seven has some in it, too. The color change indicates the presence of formaldehyde. Two of our samples had formaldehyde. That's two out of seven. We've consistently found one or two in 10 items that have what we would consider uh, levels of concern with formaldehyde. And most of the time, if we find formaldehyde, it's in garments that have a permanent press finish. And it's not just adult clothing. They're children's pants, and it's formaldehyde. Canada, the United States, are any regulations being broken? No, but we do know there's a connection between formaldehyde and these uh, various uh, diseases and illnesses. We were also told to protect yourself and your family. Always wash new clothes before you wear them. So we asked Health Canada why consumers are not told that their clothing could have formaldehyde in it. They said no one was available for an on-camera interview. The Industry Association has said that if Health Canada, the regulator, sets guidelines, they'll meet them. Teach mommy how to make the windmill now. So that leaves consumers like Mari Carr on their own. I was thinking it, it's really important for me to, to share my story so people will be more aware about the, the stuff that's been going on, like especially like putting chemicals and clothing, which is really, really scary.